Hello everybody, and welcome back to Helixcraft. Um, this is the first episode in quite a while, actually. Um, you know, I took that week-long break. Well, that salmon's gonna die. <laughs> but I took that kind of almost week-long break, and I just haven't really been on the server too much recently. But I have been doing some work, as you can see. And this is actually, I'd say, probably totaled up about five to six hours of work, of going back and forth from here in between the desert, grabbing sand for a very long time, and then placing all the sand and all the stuff that I've drained so far. This is definitely around five to six hours of work, I think. Um, and you know what? It's gonna go away. <laughs> I have completely changed my mind of what I want to do for my base, so I'm going to have to refill this part of the ocean and I am going to have to get rid of all of the sand. We will still be flattening out the temple, but we're building a new water temple underwater where this one was, and that is going to be my base. So, yeah. Um, but we're not going to be doing that in this video. Instead, we are going to be creating a villager pit. And the reason why I am deciding to make a pit for my villagers is because this is not working. Um, for some reason, and I figured out what the problem was. Core Animal was trying to help me out and he said it could be because of the... Well, there's no ground there for me to stand on. But it could be because of the minecarts that they're in. But um, I took his advice and took at least this guy out of the minecart. Um, just to kind of test it out and see. And he still did not, pretty much what is wrong, I forgot to explain that, is they will not refill their trades. Um, these two are, but the librarians are not. And um, this guy was not in a minecart for a while. I sat here AFK, he still did not refill his trades. And this is a big problem because I want to make a bookshop. And if I can't trade with them, then I can't make that bookshop. So pretty much what I have to do is come up with a way to be able to get them to reset their trades. And, and I'm looking for a fish. I want to tame this cat, but I guess I'll have to wait. Um, because there's no fish. I don't know where the cat even went. Oh, there he is. Okay, anyway. Um, so pretty much, I have discovered that the reason that they are not resetting their trades is because for some reason... Even though they're supposed to be linked to, like, this guy is supposed to be linked to this one. Um, he keeps linking to other lecterns. And that is causing him to not be able to get to it to refill his trades. And this is a problem that I've never had. Of course, every time I've made a villager trading hall, it's been on Java Edition. So I guess maybe it's different on Bedrock for the way they work. I don't really know. But I, I'm pretty sure that that is why they're doing it. So what we're going to be doing is just making a pit for them, that way they can't escape, but I can still go down there and trade with them and everything, and they will be able to free roam around the area so that they um, don't have to... They, they won't have to worry about getting killed, and I won't have to worry about losing them, but they'll also be able to get to any workstation that they need to be able to get to. So the first step to doing this is we have to make a little minecart track, and I am going to just kind of store all of the villagers over here in this corner. So I'm going to take a few of the minecart rails from um, just around the area. And since they are still all in their minecarts at this time. Let me see if I actually have any more rails just lying around. Yes, I do. Uh, maybe a little bit more, hopefully. No, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, there's some right here. And I can always go back to the other area and get more. But I'm going to start out with the guys that are down here. And I'll bring them up. And pretty much, I'll just leave it like this. That way I can push them off to the side and everything like that. So we're going to start with the ones down here. I'll collect all of their lecterns and everything. And the other problem I've been having is they've been doubling their prices, which is kind of annoying. Especially when they're refusing to refill their trades, so... It's not a very good business model to raise your prices and then just never restock. 
But you know. No one said villagers were smart. So let's break all this and we can start hopefully transporting these guys. There we go. Okay, and then we can kind of slowly get them out of the way here. Alright, so I'm going to cut the footage here and uh, be back once I have all of the villagers in this corner. That way you guys don't have to watch me do that really long process again, and that way the video doesn't go on forever. So I will see you guys once I have all of the villagers over there. Okay, so I don't really have them all over uh, there yet, but, uh, well, you saw it right there. Um, it's bedtime, and this guy got a little bit too close to the bed. I want to see if I can recreate that. Okay, he's back over here, but I, I was pushing him up, and it turned night right as he was going past the bed, and he just kind of laid down. You kind of saw it a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. He just lays down in the minecart. <laughs> okay. Don't really understand that, but sure. If you want to sleep in the minecart, you can sleep in the minecart. Yeah. Oh, and now he's mad. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be right back again once I finish getting those guys over there. Okay, all of the villagers have been moved. And now we have an open area for plenty of opportunities. Or a pit where they will be forced to work for me forever. <laughs> but yeah, um, I can get rid of all these rails for now. I'll just leave it at that. Um, I'll go ahead and throw the rails in there. These are all the valuables that I've been mining for. I've been doing a lot of mining off camera recently. And I've just gotten a bunch of stuff. I haven't smelted up any of my iron or anything like that yet. I've just been storing it. And I have 21 blocks of diamonds. And two regular diamonds. I still have not fought the wither yet. That will probably be in a very near future episode. Um, because we're going to be doing a lot of digging for what I have planned for my base. Um, but yeah. So for now... I just heard a weird sound and that is all right. Okay, <laughs> cave sounds are weird. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I don't know if my audio is working yet or not. I still can't figure out how to get OBS to fully record Minecraft audio or really any audio at that uh, point. Um, Streamlabs records just fine, but OBS seems to not like recording audio. Alright, let's go up here, and I think I have... I keep looking in there, but there's nothing in there. Uh, do I have any ladders over here? That's flint. Alright, let's just throw a bunch of that in there. As much as I can. Throw all that in there. Just for now. Okay, and I have the stuff to make ladders. Oops. Wow, I am messing up with every button press. There we go. Okay. Uh, ladders. Yep, that's what we need. Okay. So, now I have the ability to get out of the area. And how far do I want to extend this? So let's at least go as far back as here. And I don't really know how I want to design the walls or anything. I just know that I need to dig out this area and stick the villagers in it. So we will go up to make it level with that. And just get rid of all of this because we do not need it anymore. And same over here for this side. Oh, well, there's a wandering trader out there. And I might actually use my silk touch a bit, that way I can fill in the holes in the walls. I really don't know how I'm going to design everything. Um, because I want to, like, decorate the room and make it look like it's not just a dugout hole. 
and make it actually look nice, but not fully sure about how I want to go about it yet. But we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, and now do this. Get all that out of here. And I'll just leave all of the different materials around here. But I will fill in this hole, because it does not need to be here. Okay. So I don't think that's big enough. So I think what I'm going to do is extend this by about three blocks in both directions, and that should be enough room for all of the villagers that I will ever need or want. And I'll even put in a little bed area for them, that way they can sleep. Maximum villager happiness. Okay. So we'll dig down. We'll have to make sure to place torches. I've got plenty of them. It's one thing I always have a lot of, is torches. I end up making way too many to go mining, and I don't end up using all of them. And then I just kind of throw them in a chest, and then by the next time I go mining, I forget that I have them, so I make a bunch more. So, yeah. Maybe I should just make a dedicated torch chest. That would be smart. I also realized I need to build a storage room. That way I can actually organize all of my items. Maybe that'll be next episode. Could definitely do a storage room next episode. Okay, and then... Two, three... There's a lot of splashing outside. I'm guessing that's the wandering trader and his llamas. You know, this is probably something that I should be cutting out of the video, but... Uh-oh. Well, we've run into our first problem. Which isn't really that much of a problem. I can just do that. But it also means that I'm going to have to change the outside. Which isn't a real big issue because I do plan on doing the same thing that I'm doing for my industrial island to this one, building that big perimeter around it. And kind of smoothing, smoothening it out, and maybe even building a different house on here. Oh, no, I've got, I've, I have so much planned for this season. <laughs> so hopefully the other members can start getting on more and, you know, we can kind of get the season up and going again because it's been a bit dead recently. But if we can do all that, then I'm sure this season can last a very long time. And especially with us having two new members on right now. I think one of them has been on the server already, but... Um, well, not, like, been on the server before, but, like, I think they've been on recording videos, which is pretty cool. So, hopefully... I don't know if the other new member has been on yet, but... Um, Hopefully everyone can get on and be able to play and we can really get the server going like we've always wanted it to be going, but, you know, people get bored and all that happens, so yeah. Right, let's get rid of this water. If I can swim. Oh, wait, that's too low. I'll fix it in a second. There we go. Okay. So now we've got a big enough area for the villagers to hopefully live happily in. I'll just place torches all around here and hopefully those are even with each other. Just kind of did it by memory, so. Oh no, one of them's with the ladder, so that's not completely even, but that's okay. Alright, let's get rid of the sand. Place that there. Fill that in. 
And where should the beds go? Honestly, I probably could just put the beds in the floor. And then I'll line up all of their workstations along this wall. And I'll have me some ladders that I can just run and jump up to. And the villagers shouldn't be able to climb ladders. But I'm not completely sure about that. So yeah, we'll just kind of put the workstations over here. We'll put the beds in the floors. I don't really have too much wool. Um, so I'll have to go wool hunting. Because my passive mob farm has not been working. I don't know why I put my pickaxe in there. I could have put literally anything else in my inventory in there, but I chose the pickaxe. Okay, so we'll just start lining these up, and I'll break that, and hope that the villagers can't climb. We'll test it with one of them. Well, I guess we'll test it with all of them. It's fine. If they escape, then I guess I can just get more. Okay, so now we bring the mass of villagers back into the thing. And I think I'll launch him in over there. Okay, so... We'll get this guy in first. Ooh! Hmm... Okay, let's build this. That way they have a bit of a safer landing spot. And which one are you? Looting three. Okay. So we'll see. We saw some of them connect to the workstation. So while we're working on getting the other ones in, we'll see if he connects. And actually refill stuff. And which one are you? Okay, you're the good mending villager. We'll get you in there first. Or, well, as one of the first ones as well. Okay, did not get injured. Are you going to do it? Don't look at me. Do your work. I'll be watching. Okay, he's not ready to do his work yet. Alright. And we'll get this farmer in here. And I know that this is a very inefficient way of doing the villagers. But it's the only way I can really think of to do it right now. With the way that they keep connecting to the wrong things. So, I'll make it work, and I'll probably do more expansion off-camera. Um, while we work on other projects. Um, that way I can really make sure my bookshop gets going and everything. But I really want to, in the next episode, maybe? I don't know. Very soon in the series. And what did I say that we were going to do next episode earlier? I cannot remember. Uh, I don't know, but we will, next episode I think I want to try to build my bookstore. Like, I can't remember what I said originally that I wanted to do, but forget what I said before. We're doing bookstore, probably. If I can do enough trading off camera, which I'll probably spend most of today and tonight doing it. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah. I definitely need to find a way to get more emeralds more efficiently, because I have my, um, sugarcane farm, which is getting me a lot of paper to trade with these guys, but if they're going to keep raising their prices, then I need to find something else. But for now, we should be okay. Alright, so we've got just a few more villagers to go. And what happens if I break him? Oh, so I don't have to go down there with them. Okay. All right, sorry if I'm not talking as much. I, I probably should cut the video here and just kind of um, 
you know, do this off camera like I did with the getting them over here, but, you know, I'm just kind of recording and talking. Kind of ran out of stuff to say, though, so I really should probably cut it. I don't know how long I've been recording this segment for. I'll just push the last of them in instead of doing this pattern. That splashing is getting annoying. I, I know you guys probably can't hear it, but there's a lot of splashing going on out there. Alright. So you are on the rails, and so are you. Be free. Oh. <laughs> I'm stacking villagers. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to avoid hitting any of them. There we go. Okay. And none of them have done any work yet. Here, let's actually break this bed. And go ahead and put it down there. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's nighttime. Okay. So I'm going to cut this here real quick, and I will be back with probably the end of the video. So I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I found out I had a ton of wool. And I made a bunch of beds for them, and it was successful. They are resetting their trades. The only problem is, things are getting more expensive. Like, my villager that, uh, which one was he? This one. This is supposed to be 10 emeralds for a mending book. He upped it to 34. So, I don't really know how to get the trades to go down without turning them into zombies, and I really don't want to turn them all into zombies. Because that's just a long, annoying process, so I don't know if there's a way that I can get them to have cheaper prices other than that. But I guess we'll have to figure that out, or I'll just have to deal with spending a ton of emeralds on all these books. But you know what? As long as they're replenishing stuff, I'm good. And I can always get a ton of emeralds with all the gold that I have, because that's the whole reason why I got uh, that guy right there. Because he trades three gold for one emerald. So, yeah. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Um, it's been pretty successful. I uh, got my villagers set up and everything the way that they kind of have to be, I guess. And by the next episode, I should be ready to make my book store. And I'll also try to decorate this whole area and show you guys the finished product of that in the next episode. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.